Honorable Minister for Transport, my colleague, Shri Puwada Ajay Kumar Garu, Olivier Andreas, the Chief Executive Officer of SAFRA, Jean-Paul Allery, the Saffron Aircraft Engines Chief Executive Officer, Serge Pons, Saffron Electrical Power Executive Vice President, Pierre De Kelly, Saffron India Chief Executive Officer, Jayesh Ranjan, my Principal Secretary, Praveen PA, my Director Aerospace, and to the entire family of Saffron who's gathered here, it's my great privilege and pleasure to join you all in inaugurating these two world-class aerospace factories established by Safran in Hyderabad. The Safran Electrical and Power Factory and Safran Aircraft Engines Factory. While Safran has had a long history of more than 65 years in India through its joint ventures with HAL, it is for the first time that the group has decided to venture on their own in India and we are glad that you found Hyderabad to be the best ecosystem for setting up your own factories. I think they deserve a huge round of applause for that. You know, the journey in getting these two factories to India and particularly to Telangana and Hyderabad has been long but patient. Since 2018, we've had more than 35 face-to-face -face meetings and over 400 plus exchanges in terms of emails and other communications amongst us to make sure that Safran finds a smooth landing in Hyderabad and the business takes off without any delay. I remember our first dialogue for SEP projects started in early 2018, followed up by an MOU between Safran and the state government during the visit of the French President Emmanuel Macron in India. Safran Electric and Power Facility got announced in Hyderabad in March 2018 to manufacture wire harnesses for aircraft engines with an investment of $8 million and employing about 250 people. Production commenced in record time. The first product was delivered in November 2018, within nine months from the MOU signing. The facility currently employs 150 employees and over 8,000 harnesses are delivered from the plant so far. In view of the wholehearted support given by the government of Telangana and quick turnaround time experienced for the first project, Safran Chief Executive Mr. Philippe Petticolin visited Hyderabad in February 2019. During his visit, he announced the second mega Safran plant project in Hyderabad, the Safran aircraft engine facility with an investment of 36 million euros and employing about 300 to manufacture components of LEAP, turbo, Leap turbofan engines. This 15,000 square feet building got ready by late 2021 and the first deliveries took place in May 2022. We're extremely happy now that Safran has announced their third mega investment in a row into the state of Telangana, the Safran Aero Engine MRO project. In discussions with Olivia, in discussions with Jean-Paul, I was told when the MRO would be completed in 2025, it would be Safran's largest MRO anywhere in the world. And I think that's a matter of great pride for all of us. The MRO and test bed will be established in Hyderabad with an initial investment of $150 million and it is going to be the largest aero engine MRO established by Safran globally and it would also be the largest aero engine MRO in the country for any facility, any airport in the country. I think my compliments to GBS Raju Garu and the entire GMR team on working really hard in making this happen and bringing this to Hyderabad. This project also holds a lot of national significance as it is the first engine MRO to be established by a global OEM in India. We have, we have been working on this project. We have been in discussions since 2020. Me and my team have had numerous meetings with Safran in Hyderabad, Delhi and Paris 
to address the various techno-commercial aspects of this complex project. And Olivia, I must tell you, your team led by Jean-Paul is a very tough negotiator. You know, they're very tough negotiators. I think they were, you know, putting out names. They were throwing names. They were telling me that we are competing with Bangalore. They were telling me that we are competing with uh, Chennai. And they made sure that they got the best deal for you. So my compliments to you and your entire team on, in fact, making this happen in Hyderabad and choosing wisely. <laughs> We've also held multiple meetings with all stakeholders, such as airlines, the airport operator, and we have ensured that Safran was given the confidence from all stakeholders to get this MRO to Hyderabad. We were amongst the first state governments to represent the government of India for rationalizing the GST on MRO to make Indian MRO industry globally competitive because it's important to understand that this MRO in Hyderabad will not just cater to airlines in India. I am hopeful and I am very confident that a lot of Middle Eastern airlines will also send their planes here. I am also very confident that a lot of airlines based in Southeast Asia will also use this facility for all of their aircrafts as well. This new investment is a huge endorsement for the robustness of aerospace ecosystem in Hyderabad. I'm sure this will encourage other global aerospace and defense investors to choose Telangana for their Indian foray. What I'm even more happy about, you know, the three things that were mentioned by Olivia today. Of course, we have the two factories that have opened today and the third investment that is announced today, MRO. He also announced a digital transformation center. Now, Hyderabad, as you all know, is an important technology hub in the country and one of the important technology hubs in the world. And with about 800 employees at the Digital Transformation Center for Safran, this makes it the fourth investment of Safran in about six years. And I think uh, our Honorable Chief Minister, Sri KCR Garu, he always says one thing. He says, your existing investor, your existing investor in your state is your biggest brand ambassador. If they are happy, they are going to continue to expand their business. They are also going to ensure that the positivity about the state's ease of doing business, the positivity about the state's way of functioning will reach every nook and corner in the world. And I think this is a resounding endorsement to the state of Telangana as Safran has announced its fourth project today. And I'm extremely thankful to you, Olivia, for your endorsement. Telangana today is the most vibrant and the happening aerospace valley in India. We have, of course, the best industrial policy in the form of TSI pass with tailor-made incentives for mega projects. We have multiple world-class aerospace parks and SEZs adjacent to the outer ring road and airport. We also have large number of existing global aerospace OEMs into manufacturing and also into export. We have abundant skilled workforce and state advanced skilling partnerships. Task in partnership with Cranfield University, Aerocampus Aquitaine, Embry-Riddle Aeronautical Society has been able to create a robust think force, robust workforce, which will continue to feed the aerospace and defense industry in Hyderabad, in Telangana. More than 1,000 MSMEs are integrated into the aerospace and defense supply chains in Hyderabad. The focus on innovation, the focus on growing more and more innovative ideas, grooming more services and products from our state through T-Hub, T-Works, Research and Innovation Circle of Hyderabad, V-Hub, the Women Entrepreneurs Hub, all of these together will continue to keep the state in good stead in terms of providing quality resources to this industry. Top ranks by the state in ease of doing business, in cost effectiveness, in all social indices also continue to attract investments into aerospace and defense. The state of Telangana has consistently won the biennial best state award from Ministry of Civil Aviation, Government of India, for the most progressive outlook towards aerospace sector in 2018, 2020, and also in 2022. Hyderabad 
was also ranked number one globally by FT, FDA, Aerospace, Cities of Future Rankings in Cost Effectiveness Metric. To meet the increasing demand, as Olivia pointed out, the civil aviation space continues to expand. The aviation traffic continues to go through the roof. In fact, our Hyderabad airport, led by GMR Group, is also on an expansion mode. And I'm hopeful that they will complete their terminal expansion by December. And I'm also hopeful the day is not too far, you know, when Hyderabad will have to create additional terminals to cater to the growing needs, growing passenger traffic. I was hoping that uh, the Minister for Civil Aviation would be here because he made a couple of promises that I wanted to remind him of. You know, one of, the, one of them is, of course, more direct flights to, the, to Europe and to the continent of uh, United States. I think that's extremely important. You know, a direct flight, Air France or maybe Air India flying directly into Paris would help Olivier, Jean-Paul and all of my friends here who have who are, come all the way from France. And I'm sure, given an opportunity, they would skip Delhi and come directly to Hyderabad. I hope I'm right. <laughs> to, meet, to meet the increasing demand, we are of course planning to establish more aerospace and defense parks in the state. And we are also in discussions for establishing an aerospace university in partnership with the industry. I'd like to once again profusely thank the leadership of SAFRA for choosing Hyderabad to establish these world-class facilities and announcing the mega engine MRO project in Hyderabad. I of course congratulate the GMR group for enabling this GMR aerospace park for building fantastic infrastructure and meeting the site requirements of Safran. I would also like to congratulate the entire family of Safran, the employees of Safran who are gathered here, the vendors, clients on this momentous occasion and wish you all a great future. I assure you once again of all support from the state government for Safran's current and future projects coming up in Telangana. Thank you. Jai Telangana. Jai Hind.